infrastructure is the combination of fundamental systems, such as road and railroad networks, water and sewage systems, national power and natural gas grids that serve a country, city or area. All of these are essential to the economy and to our quality of life. Damage or destruction to these systems could result in a public safety hazard. Today, new challenges such as growing urban population, climate change, subsidence due to natural or man-made causes and disasters are placing unprecedented stresses on infrastructure. Satellites provide an accurate and rapid means to globally monitor the stability and the evolution of both medium and large-scale construction and engineering projects. As well as assessing the environmental impact of infrastructure activities on the environment, satellite data can also be used to determine the vulnerability of infrastructure due to natural hazards such as floods or earthquakes, which could threaten their safety and security. Delivering consistent high-resolution data with rapid and repetitive coverage, satellites offer a timely eye on infrastructure development to keep pace with changes while monitoring the progress of construction work and tracking any environmental impacts. The Sentinel-1 and Sentinel-2 satellites of the European Union's Copernicus program are providing frequent high-quality data for information services to support infrastructure planning, development and monitoring. Companies worldwide, like the Italian Survey Lab in Rome, are developing applications in many fields of civil and environmental engineering, with a focus on methods for monitoring natural hazard effects on land and the environment. But how did their service start and why? Survey Lab is a spin-off company from the University of Roma La Sapienza that joins remote sensing expertise with engineering practice. After a few years in which we have experimented the capability of radar interferometry to monitor building stability in large urban areas, three years ago we have submitted a project to the European Union and we obtained a grant to develop a technology transfer project. IMODI service guarantees capillarity and continuity and improves public awareness on safety issues in large urban areas. And just how do Copernicus Sentinel data make a difference? IMODI is based on open data from ESA archive, starting from Earth and Enviset and now using Sentinel missions, and also integrated with third-party missions such as Cosmos Climate. In particular, Sentinel-1 and Sentinel-2 provides high-resolution radars and optical data at a global scale. Uh, these data are complementary and can be used in IMODI to develop new services for multi-level analysis. So how are you able, nowadays, to deliver data on the effects of subsidence in urban areas aimed at assessing the damage on structures and infrastructure? Thanks to the data archived since 1992 and to the new data acquired by Sentinel missions, it is possible to understand the deformation patterns in large urban areas before they become critical for the stability of buildings. In this respect, Roma, um, where we are, it's a real experimental lab since it's full of age building that needs continuous monitoring that only satellite data can provide. Identifying the presence of critical situations in infrastructure systems is paramount to our safety and Copernicus Sentinels are central to making a difference. <laughs>